everybody, it's your girl Abby from Twist Me Pretty. Welcome back to my channel. We are kicking off week two of the Learn How to Braid Challenge. You guys have been killing it on Instagram. I've been so excited and happy to see all of you following along and just like creating hairstyles. It's been amazing. So this week we are kicking off Dutch braids. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will link up last week's video where I was super chatty and explained all of the details. But all you need to do is sign up for the newsletter down below or click that i button right there and I will send you the newsletter with all of the details. But we're basically doing a new hairstyle every single day and each week we're learning and practicing a different braid. So this week is Dutch braids and I'm really excited because Dutch braids are probably my very favorite. I just love the texture of it and I love how it pops off the head. It just It's really beautiful. So that's what we're doing. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into it. Before we get started on the steps, I have one main tip that I need you guys to do. Don't look at yourself in the mirror. I promise it's just gonna confuse you and make things backwards. So the first hairstyle that I'm gonna start with is just down the back. And this way I am flipped around so that as you look at me, we are doing the same thing. So you can look at me this first time around and then I want you to just close your eyes and say the steps out loud and that is honestly how I learned how to braid. Don't look in the mirror, don't look at anyone else, just think of the steps and say them out loud if you need to. So, let's do this. Okay, you're gonna take a section from the crown of your head and split it into three equal sections. The fingering here is really important, so I'm gonna go super slow on these first few stitches, and I'm holding all three pieces in my right hand. My index finger and thumb are holding the left strand. My middle finger is holding the middle strand, and the last couple fingers are holding the right section. So once you have that down, you're gonna use your left hand, and I'm actually braiding the left section under the middle section. This is what makes the Dutch braid. So to do this, I grab the left section with my index finger and thumb, and then I use my middle finger to grab that middle section, and I just rotate my wrist. And that pulls that left section under the middle section. And then I've gotta move around some sections to free up my right hand. So what I'm gonna do is curl my pinky finger over the left section, my middle finger over the middle section, and then my index finger and thumb are gonna hold on to that right section. And from here, I'm gonna grab that middle section with my right hand and pull it over the right section. And as you're pulling that middle section over, you're gonna immediately wrap your pinky finger around it. And then you can use your thumb to kind of pull the rest of that strand through. And then you're gonna wrap your middle finger around the middle section and your index finger and thumb are gonna hold on to the left section. And that is your first stitch. So from here, we're gonna add in new sections of hair on each side. So with your left hand, you're gonna gather a new section of hair from the front and combine it with the left section. And then you're gonna hold the left section with your left index finger and thumb and using your left middle finger, you're gonna twist your wrist. Just rotate your wrist and that'll bring the left strand under the middle section. And then you're gonna curl your pinky finger around the left section, your middle finger around the middle section, and the right section should be held with your index finger and thumb. And then we're just gonna repeat on the other side. So gather a new section of hair from the front with your right hand and combine it with the right section. And then you're gonna braid it under the middle by using your right hand to pull the middle piece over it. And then immediately wrap your pinky finger over the right section, your middle finger over your middle section, and your index finger and thumb should hold on to your left section. And guys, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna speed this up from here just a bit or this video is gonna be super long, but just keep replaying this over and over until you can memorize those steps and say them out loud to yourself while you are practicing. So add in a new piece of hair to the left strand, braid it under the middle section, move the strands into your left hand, add a new piece of hair to the right strand, braid it under the middle section, move the strands into your right hand, and repeat. Unlike a French braid, do you see how this braid kind of pops off the head? So in a French braid, the strands are braided over that middle section. So it's actually braided underneath and you don't see it as well. But in a Dutch braid, the sections are braided under the middle section. So it really pops off the head and you get that really pretty dimension. 
When you get to the nape of your neck, go ahead and drop your arms. I know they're tired. And just finish the braid over your shoulder. So be careful though that you remember where you left off in the braid. And then get your elastic ready, but don't tie the braid off just yet. I actually like to stretch the braid a little bit before I tie it off. So I'm holding the end of the braid taut with one hand and using my other hand to ever so carefully tug on the outer sections of those strands. And see how it makes the braid just a little bit bigger? It's really pretty and full. So once the braid over your shoulder has been kind of fluffed out, then we're gonna tie it off with a clear elastic. This next part is really important, especially if you have layers or your braid falls out after stretching it. So what I'm doing is sweeping all my hair to the seam of the braid. And then I'm taking a bobby pin and securing any shorter pieces or flyaways right underneath the braid. Do you see that seam there? And use as many as you need because once it's all secure, we're gonna stretch the braid again and hide those bobby pins. So those pins are gonna help with the definition of the braid by allowing just the braid to be stretched instead of loosening the whole braid. So do it even if you don't have layers that fall out because it's gonna help your braid to be stretched but keeping the braid tight and secure. And guys, that's it. That's your basic Dutch braid and the easiest way to learn it. So let me know if it was helpful. I hope it was helpful. I wanna know what you guys think. And then I'm gonna show you right now a few other ways I like to style the Dutch braid. And every day throughout the rest of the week, we're gonna work on some of these hairstyles on Instagram. So go find me over there, I'm at Twist Me Pretty. So to start a braid from the front, you're gonna gather a section of hair and split it into three equal sections. And I'm gonna call these the back section, the middle section, and the front section. Also notice that my back arm is at a 90 degree angle to that back section. So braid the front strand under the middle section and then you're gonna reach underneath that middle section and braid the back strand under the middle section. And then we're just gonna start adding in new pieces of hair on each side. So holding all three sections in your back hand, you're gonna use your front hand to add a new section to that front piece. So make sure it's nice and combined and that there aren't any bubbles and then you're gonna go ahead and braid it under the middle section. And then you're gonna move the three sections into the front hand and use your back hand to add a new section of hair to the back section. And then just braid it under the middle and continue repeating these steps until you reach either the nape of your neck or the back of your head depending on what hairstyle you're doing. So for this hairstyle, I'm just gonna wrap the braid around to the back of my head and then do a few stitches without adding in any new sections. And then holding the end taut, I'm just gonna fluff out the braid so that it's nice and full, clip it off so it doesn't loosen and repeat it on the other side. Now I'm gonna tie these braids together with a clear elastic and then bring the rest of the hair up into a ponytail. This is one of my favorite hairstyles. It just keeps the hair out of the face and it's so, so cute. Another one of my favorite ways to style the Dutch braid is putting the ends into a messy bun. So I start braiding just like we did in the tutorial before, but I keep the braid close to my hairline and braid all the way to the nape of my neck. And then you're just gonna grab an elastic and pull the ends into a messy bun. So once it's secure, go ahead and stretch the braid so it's nice and full and you're done. Okay, this is the last way I'm gonna show you today. This is just a regular Dutch side braid and you're gonna start the braid exactly like we have in the past couple tutorials. So I like to keep the braid close to my hairline and try to braid it tight if you can. And then you're gonna braid it all the way down to the nape of your neck. And I like to pull over big sections of hair from the other side, maybe four or five stitches to really bring all the hair over. And then when you get to the nape of your neck, I'm sure your arms are burning by now. So go ahead and just finish the braid over your shoulder, but remember where you are in the braid. And then you're gonna tie it off and we're just gonna do the same thing we did in the first tutorial and sweep the hair over into the seam of the braid and then pin everything down so that it's nice and secure. And then you're just gonna stretch the braid so that the braid kind of swells and looks really big while the rest of the hair stays tight. So this is your Dutch side braid.
And that's how you Dutch braid, you guys. If you liked this video and it helped you learn how to Dutch braid, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I love hearing your success stories. And then don't forget, we're in the middle of this 30 hair styles in 30 days learn how to braid challenge. And if you're coming late, it doesn't matter. I still have all of those resources available. So just sign up for my newsletter down below or I'll link it right up here. And then I can email you everything we've done and that we're gonna be doing. So I hope you guys loved this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.